subtract negative rational numbers less than 3.3b. A rational number is any number that can be expressed as the ratio of two integers. So that would be fractions, wouldn't they? And it would also be decimals because we can write decimals as a fraction. So 6 can be expressed as a 6 over a 1 as a fraction. And negative 6 can be expressed as negative 6 over 1. And 0.5, well that's 5 tenths. We can write it as a fraction as 5 tenths, which is 1 half. And negative 0.5 is negative 5 tenths. And that's negative half. So those are all rational numbers, but pi would not be a rational number. That would be irrational, because we can't write pi as a fraction because it goes on forever. To subtract negative rational numbers, we add the opposite. So 7 minus a negative 4 becomes 7 plus 4. We use the additive inverse for the negative number. And the additive inverse for negative 4 is positive 4. It's its opposite across 0 on a number line. So we turn this subtraction sign and this negative sign into a plus. So to subtract a negative, we just add the opposite. If we have 7.25 minus a negative 4, we're going to add, so that turns into a plus sign, and the opposite of a negative 4 is a positive 4, so we just have 7.25 plus 4. That's 11.25. For 2.25 minus a negative 4, this becomes an addition sign. We're going to add, and the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. So we have 2.25 plus 4. That's 6.25. If we have negative 1 third minus negative 5 6, we're going to add the opposite. This turns into a plus sign. And the opposite of negative 5, 6 is positive 5, 6. So we have negative 1 third plus 5, 6. We have different signs, so we're going to find the difference. They need common denominators, don't they? So 1 third is the same as 2, 6. So to find the difference, we subtract. 5, 6 minus 2, 6 is 3, 6. That's 1 half. Our answer is a half. And it's positive because 5, 6 has the greatest absolute value. And it's positive. We take the sign of the greatest absolute value. So, because this is now positive and it's farther away from 0, our answer is going to be a positive. So remember, absolute value is how far a number is from 0. Here we've got our 0. We have a positive 2. We have a negative 3. The negative 3 has a greater absolute value than the positive 2 because it's farther from 0. Here we have 0.5, 5 tenths, minus a negative 1.25. It's going to equal 0.5 plus 1.25. This is going to turn into an addition sign, and the opposite of negative 1.25 is positive 1.25. We add them together, we get 1.75. Here we have negative half minus negative one-fourth. This is going to turn into a plus sign because we're going to add the opposite. So now we have negative half plus one-fourth. These have different signs, so we're going to find the difference between a half and a fourth. We turn them into Fractions that have common denominators, we have 2 fourth minus 1 fourth to find the difference. That gives us a 1 fourth. So we have negative 1 fourth because the greatest absolute value is the negative half. It's farther away from 0 than a fourth. Here we've got negative half, and we're going to add 1 fourth. That brings us to negative 1 fourth. We haven't gone across 0 to the positive side, see? And we use the sign of the absolute, the greatest absolute value. And the distance between two numbers on a number line is their difference. 
the difference between this positive 3 and a negative 2 is 5. There's 5 hops to get to that negative 2. We have 3 minus a negative 2. It becomes 3 plus 2. That's a 5. And the distance is represented by the absolute value of their difference. And distance is always a positive number. So for adding the opposite, we could say P minus Q is equal to P plus a negative Q. If we have 5 minus a negative 3, we're going to add the opposite. That becomes a plus, and that becomes a positive 3. We have 5 plus 3, that's 8. If we have 5.37 minus negative 3.15, that becomes a plus, that becomes a positive. We add the two numbers together, and we get 8.52, and it's positive. For negative 5.37, minus a negative 3.15. This turns into a plus sign. That turns into a positive. So we have negative 5.37 plus 3.15. They have different signs. That's a negative, and now that's a positive. So we find the difference. It's 2.22. We take the sign of the greatest absolute value, the one that's farthest from 0, and 5.37 is farther away from 0 than 3.15. We ignore this negative sign and just look at which one is farther from zero. And because this one is, we take its sign. So remember to subtract a negative, we add the opposite. The deepest canyon on Mars is negative 26,000 feet. It's 26,000 feet below the surface. And the deepest canyon on Venus is negative 9,500 feet. So how much deeper is the Mars Canyon than the Venus Canyon? Well, we're looking for the difference between the absolute value of their distances because we're talking about which one is deeper and they're in feet. We know their distances. And distance is always a positive number. So we find the difference between 26,000 and 9,500. And that's 16,500 feet. And it's going to be a positive number because it's a distance. So, to subtract a negative rational number, we add the opposite. And remember, distances are always positive. So if you're doing a word problem and you can see that it's discussing a distance, your answer is going to be a positive amount. Okay? Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.